everybody what's going on welcome back to another video now I know I haven't been on here in a long time and I want to apologize I just haven't had a chance to upload a video we have been so crazy busy at my job um, and it's a physically demanding job and it just kicks my behind by the time I get home at night take a shower and and stuff some food in my gut I'm out like I am out and before I know it, I'm getting up to do it all over again. I guess it's old age setting in. But as you see, I'm not sitting here with my last Paul as usual. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I posted a video of a new guitar review. Well, this is it. Uh, same guitar. I just changed the pick guard to white instead of tortoise. Uh, this is a 2019 Squire Classic Vibe 70 Strat. Uh, if you want to see all the specs, go check out that other video. It's pretty cool. Um, but this guitar sounds great. Uh, it's got Alnico pickups, uh, Fender designed Alnico pickups, and it just sounds amazing. Today we're going to talk about riffs that just don't sound right if they're not played on a Strat. Uh, you know, there, there are some out there. There's quite a few out there. And if you can't already tell, hey, that sounds like a Strat. Maybe this video will help you. The first riff I'm going to talk about because Ginger Baker just passed away, is uh, Cream, Sunshine of Your Love. Rest in peace, Mr. Baker. It goes like this. I always like from Crane. There's a couple songs that they have that I really don't care for, but Clapton is just not one of my favorite guitar players. The guy never looks like he's having a good time. Um, he's a great guitar player, just not one of my favorites. He just looks like he's bored all the time and, you know, come on, man, make some faces or something, right? But anyway, uh, single coils sound a lot different than a humbucking guitar. <laughs> Real glassy, um, much brighter, much more high end, uh, and they take gain and effects completely different. Um, and today, like I said, we're going through some of my favorite riffs to play on a Strat that just don't sound right on any other guitar. Now, if you have a single uh, uh, single coil guitar, you're going to get real close. You're going to get real close. But Strats just have a, a special sound, and um, you know that's why you'll see a lot of guys they'll play a Les Paul on a Strat. You know, like me, uh, because that just covers the best of both worlds. Uh, you can really get those nice, clean, jazzy, bright tones with your Strat. You know, the glassy, quacky, blues lead stuff. And then your Les Paul just handles everything. Uh, but anyway, back to it. Um, another band, this this band's from the 90s. Uh, well, that's when I heard them first anyway. I, I'm pretty sure they come out in the 90s. Uh, it's a band by the name of Weezer. And they have a song called Say It Ain't So. And that guy's a, a big strap player. And it goes like this. If you've ever heard of Pink Floyd, I know you've heard of Pink Floyd. I mean, come on, you live on this planet. Uh, if you live on planet Earth and haven't heard of Pink Floyd, there's really no hope for you. But David Gilmore is, uh, he's, he's known for playing a Strat. He does play a Les Paul now and again, uh, and some other guitars, I'm sure. Uh, but most of the time, he's playing a Strat. When you hear songs like, you know... <laughs>
shine on you crazy diamond. You play that that little lick on any other guitar, it doesn't sound like that. Just a strat just captures the sound of that song. And you know, I've heard it so many times, it just doesn't sound right on any other guitar. But that's a great song. It's basically like an 11 minute or 13 minute guitar solo. Gilmore is a beast. But we're gonna move right along. There's another band from from uh, the 90s I'm going to talk about in a minute. But any Pink Floyd, you know what I mean? All that stuff is all stratty. Let me get rid of my noise gate here. Let me just turn it down a little bit. dirt. The Strat just captures the sound of those songs, you know. It's actually played on an acoustic guitar, but it sounds good when you play it on a Strat too. Um, but I really like this guitar. I've been playing it a lot for the last few weeks. And uh, it came with, a, like I said, a four-ply tortoiseshell pick guard that was kind of red. And I've always wanted an Olympic white Strat, you know, like Hendrix. Um, and this just does it for me. Uh, I had the white guard on another Strat I've got uh, sitting around. And I've actually got another Strat that I'm going to be stringing up and playing it in some videos soon. But... Another band from the 90s that I started to mention, one of the coolest bands out of the 90s, kind of a one-hit wonder, was the Toadies. Uh, if you guys ever heard of the Toadies, they had a song called Possum Kingdom, and it's, it's just cool. It's a cool song, and it goes like this. kinds of crazy chords in that song. song if you haven't heard it possum kingdom by the toadies go check it out the next one we're going to talk about was a big hit by a band from the 90s that really started what they called grunge um, they were called mookie blaylock before they were called pearl jam they have a song called yellow lead better and it goes like this get rid of some of that drive
just can't play that song without a Strat. It, you can play it on another guitar, but it doesn't have the same sound. Um, I've tried it on my Les Paul many times, and I always say, shoot, I need my Strat for this. Um, it's got a great solo. Um, kind of goes like this. <laughs> Sorry for the errant notes, but it happens. Trying to hurry up here. I've got uh, got somewhere to be, but I wanted to film a video and hang out with you guys for a little bit. Um, the next song I'm going to talk about, I'm going to screw up real bad. Stevie Ray Vaughan. And I don't know if you've ever tried to play any Stevie Ray, but it's not that easy. Uh, there's some really good guitar players here on YouTube. You know, Robert Baker and... Even Marty Schwartz, guys like that, they're they're a little cleaner. They're uh, they're great guitar players. Robert Baker's amazing, uh, killer guitar player. If you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. He's not uh, asking me to say that, of course, because he has hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and I have you guys. But I love every one of you. But it goes like this. It's called Pride and Joy. Let's try that again. play Stevie Ray without a strap. Just gotta have it. That's all there is to it. And this last song I'm going to talk about, because this is a relatively short video, it's quite possibly the coolest guitar intro ever written. Um, any of you guys that like Jimi Hendrix, this guy is a lot like Jimi Hendrix. Um, his name's Robin Trower, and he is freaking amazing. Uh, he's got a song called Bridge of Size, Bridge of Size. You've probably heard it before and don't even realize it. It goes like this. <laughs> One more time, and then I'm going to give a, give it up. I keep screwing it up, but maybe it sounds familiar to it already. If it does, you've got a good set of ears. <laughs> Listen to it because.
because I'm just screwing it up. Bridge of Size by Robin Trower. It's a great album. I think they remastered it in about 07. But there's all kinds of riffs out there. Uh, that effect, that's called a univibe, if you've never heard of it. Um, I believe Jimi Hendrix used one when he did the Star Spangled Banner Woodstock. <laughs> You know that song. It's a cool effect. Kind of sounds like it's swirling around the room. Psychedelic, man. This last one I'm going to talk about is actually played on a Telecaster, but a Strat gets you in the same territory. Stones, old Keith Richards. Um, he does some pretty weird stuff. He uh, normally only plays with five strings on his telly, and he's just a pretty weird dude. But he's going to outlive us all. You wait and see. But anyway, guys, that's it. I don't want to take up all your time. Go play your guitar. Go listen to some music. There's a whole world of wonderful music out there. Most of it's older. Um, but go check it out, guys. And until next time, see ya!